I'm at the Dubai Museum of the Future and I'm looking for the latest technology in footwear, AI shoes. Do you mind if I grab them? Okay, well don't tell anyone. Wow, they're really quite interesting. So who's designed these? So Asus Studio designed them and then they were printed by Stratasys. Asus Studios in London? Yeah, that's right. Now, Asa, I'm intrigued about your work and I want to get into all that, but first, what's this place? So we are in the heart of London, uh, we are at Central St. Martins, where my research office is, and I'm running a master's here called MA Design for Industry 5.0, which is about the future of design manufacturing. And a big part of that is minimizing carbon footprints, isn't it? Like these shoes, I quite like these shoes, I bought them in a shop, but that kind of behavior has a big carbon footprint attached to it, doesn't it? We cannot just ignore that uh, aspect of, of manufacturing anymore. When you get uh, these shoes, you start from the mining, and then you ship it to the factory, from the factory, to jets and ships. We are decentralizing the factory. It's an urban manufacturing scenario. Urban manufacturing. Yeah, so you can imagine that London is a giant city and machines will be everywhere and they will be wired and networked in the, you know, using internet basically. And if you're in Camden, you pick your shoes in Camden. If you're in Kensington, you do the same. Ah. I recognize this shoe from the museum in Dubai. Yes, yeah, so these are the evolutionary uh, footwear. You can see we have different sensors here. We have pressure sensors, um, heat sensors and humidity sensors. And it sends information to the cloud where the next generation shoe is keep evolving for you over time. So it, with your permission, we collect uh, biometric data and ergonomic data. So we know if you are losing weight or gaining weight, or if you're pressing against the inside or the outside, and that shoe will correct your posture. It will understand how to generate some more uh, cushion where it's needed. Animals in nature, they take millions of years to evolve. So I would like to call it maybe a, a natural selection fast forward. Ha! Huh. It's kind of um, looks like some kind of organic process as well. I mean, this looks like bacteria or some kind of culture. In my work, I'm kind of inspired by all sorts of biological processes. And in this case, uh, bacteria culture, uh, you can see different veins that will give you different uh, densities to support your foot. The pink particles are full of gel and will give you uh, the perfect balance between softness and solidness. And do you mean it to look like this, Asa? Are we looking at the undergarment here or, or the guts of it? Or do you mean it to look like this? So what do you think, Mike? Do you like it? I don't know how to answer that. I mean, it's challenging. I, I have no reference. It's, it's kind of like something I've never seen before. So I'm, I, I like that answer. So I thought the white skeleton can be really, really interesting. Now it's kind of a little bit weird or unfamiliar, but I think that in the future, um, we, we might see more of these things. Next stop, Tel Aviv. Naomi, you worked with Asa on this shoe. Yes, we designed this uh, shoe during the time of the pandemic together with Asa, sure. And the fact that it was during the pandemic is significant, isn't it? Absolutely. The pandemic really challenged us to rethink a design. And think about it. The COVID virus is like a software entering the human body like software should enter a product and redesign it. Well, so you're kind of thinking a little bit like the strategy of the virus. Yeah, the future products we believe requires artificial intelligence to be embedded in it, to collect the data from the product, to understand the consumer and to allow new iterations that are customized together with the 3D printing around the body of the consumer. So that brings us back to Asa's shoe, because uh, we need to be thinking a little more like this. That's right. It collects all the data from the customer and it understands the way that the person steps, sweats and progresses through time. And the next iteration of the shoe will integrate all this data and have a better product, a smarter shoe. This is a wildly different approach to design and manufacturing. A Darwinian approach, fast forwarding natural selection, resulting in a one-off, just for you, growing from your own data. 
If you liked this video, make sure to subscribe to our channel for more every week.